Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Programming Knowledge and this is the last video on how to create mobile responsive website using the bootstrap technology. Okay, so I think we're down to the last um, section of our page and the last video of this particular video tutorial series. So we already have the masthead, we already have the navigation of uh, our page and we also have the about section we also have the services section and also the uh, portfolio section and from the previous tutorial or, or from the fifth uh, tutorial we have added this call to action section so free video tutorials in the description and also the uh, divider and we also inspected the markup or the styling for this download now button so as i've said we're, we'll be working on with the contact section of this particular page and i'm gonna walk you through all the steps so that you could add the contact section for this particular page and towards the end of this video i'll be giving you some tricks or a few tricks and tips so that you could jumpstart your learning on this bootstrap technology so make sure to finish the video and some of the important things to remember while learning the bootstrap technology so for now let's go back to our code editor and let's work on uh, adding the contact section of our page so for the contact section of our page we will be adding the again the section element so section section element okay and this section should have the classes page section and of course the ID will be contact so again the purpose of this ID contact is for us to target this particular section when we try to click on the menus at the top of our page so we will try to click on the contact menu and then the page should scroll down to this contact section so that's it and inside this section we will be adding the div which has the class of container and also we need to add another div for our rows so div and it has a class row with justify content or justify dash content center okay and inside here we will be adding another div so the class for this should be column large 8 and also text center to align the text into the center of this particular element and of course we'll be adding the uh, h2 element and it should have the text get or let's get in touch the h2 element should have a class empty dash zero so margin top zero next we will be adding a divider using again the hr element so hr and of course the classes for this our divider and of course my dash four and the description or the text for this contact form it should have the class text muted and of course mb dash five the text is this ready to start your next project you could uh, anyway uh, put in your own text for this particular paragraph uh, tag so if you want to change the text you could you could put in your own uh, description so for my case I'll just uh, stick to this description ready to start your next project with us give us a call a call or send us an email and we will get back to you as 
soon as possible. Okay. So text muted MB-5 ready to start your next project with us. Give us a call or send us an email. And for this particular point in time, we'll just save the index.html file and let's try to preview our our page. Okay, so this is the page or the website and then let's just uh, refresh and try to see here we have the partial preview of our contact page or contact section of our page so let's get in touch so the divider and then ready to start your next project with us uh, the description of our the description of our contact section so let's continue working on with this particular section the contact section so let's go back to our code next we will be adding another div so right after this div with class row we will be adding another div of course it should have um, the row um, class also and inside this another div with class column or call large 4 and then ml dash photo and then the another one is text uh, dash center so inside this we need to define a i element so class uh, f a f a phone so this is gonna be this is gonna be holding the icon for this contact page so f a 3 x mb-3 and the text is muted so another thing is the div with um, let's just remove the class for this div so inside this div we will be uh, typing in the number so for example the number is dash one this is just a demo number so five five dash zero one four nine so five 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 dash and there we have the phone number for this page okay and another div for the email of our page so inside the row after this div we're going to be adding another div for our email so class column large 4 um, mr dash auto and text is centered and let's just copy this so i class fa um, instead of phone it should be an envelope because this is representing the email of our contact section so fa or font awesome envelope um, uh, fa 3x mb-3 text muted and after this line we will be adding a uh, link so the link should go to mail mail to dash or colon contact at so for example your website.com so this is just a test you could go ahead put in your uh, real email if you want so for my case i'll just use this for uh, educational purposes so programming knowledge so for example programming knowledge at gmail.com or something like that and the class for this link well, let's just add the d dash lock okay so save our index.html file and let's go back to our browser and try to refresh and try to preview the contact form of this particular page okay so this is the contact section of our page let's just refresh and then there you go we have this we have this let's get in touch and of course we're displaying the number with the font awesome icon for the phone and uh, font awesome icon
for our email which is this envelope and displaying the email so I think we have already added the different sections of our page and the last thing that uh, that we're gonna be adding is the footer section so as you can see after the contact section we don't have the footer just yet so let's go ahead and add the footer section for this page let's go back to our code editor um, we're just gonna add the footer uh, element okay so this footer element should have a class uh, background or bg light okay and then py-5 stands for padding up and or bottom and top and the size is 5 and of course inside the footer class or I mean the footer element we need to add the divider or the div with the class container and inside this div we're gonna be adding another div with class small then the center or the text will be centered and it should be muted and inside here let's just um, type in copyright and of course the copy symbol or the copyright symbol and then the year and of course for example programming knowledge okay so let's save this and preview our page refresh okay so there you go we have the footer copyright with the copyright symbol and 2018 and then the site name or for my case the programming knowledge Okay, so I think this concludes the 6 video part video series on how to create mobile responsive website using the Bootstrap framework. So I'm going to be giving you a few tips on how to jumpstart your learning on this framework. So the first thing that you're going to need is to familiarize the grid system of the Bootstrap. So I think familiarization of the Bootstrap grid system gives you more flexibility in working with this particular framework the next thing is to familiarize the spacing capability of bootstrap so you have to be familiar in how to set the padding set the margins with different locations or different so for example top or bottom or left or right so being familiar with this makes your life easier working with the bootstrap framework so the next thing is you have to be familiar with the classes of bootstrap framework so there are many uh, classes inside the bootstrap framework you have to be familiar and you have to make sure to use make sure to experiment with these different classes and different elements so you can understand how each of the element works okay so this concludes this tutorial and i hope you learned something from this video. Thanks.